today I'm filming establishing shots. I'm hungry. Me too. Right, come, have some grub. This, by the way, is above the Alpine area. It is stunning. I love these. I don't like them. High on energy. Essential. I'd rather have a pack of crisps. Gabby likes crisps. I grew up near Liverpool. And we used to go to the Lake District. So I kind of grew up walking little walks in the mountains. So I thought, yeah, walking in the mountains. I've done that before when I was little. I'm old now. I can I can do it. Well, I say old. I'm not really old, am I? But yes, yeah. You have a white hair on your beard. <laughs> but I have a white hair on my beard, and uh, it's not quite the same though up here <laughs> to the Lake District. It's just a little bit more extreme. Mm. Mm. Who came up with this stupid idea in the first place? <laughs> Robert Hendo. <laughs> Press on. I'm gonna get a shot over there. <laughs> over there. And he comes down through the clouds into Act 2, into the post apocalyptic world. He looks around for the first time and he takes in a deep breath and he smells the pungent, smelly air. A poisonous gas that exists in the world is what has wiped out mankind. Only he doesn't know that yet. And it's also the reason, of course, why his parents fled up the mountain with him in the first place. And it's why he's there in the first place. Which is why his clothes are based on things from civilization. It's why his knife is a kitchen knife, because it's the knife his father would have picked up when he ran away. It's why he basically has a kind of quasi mix of a wild man that had some traits of civilization once upon a time. One of the things that's really Amazing. It's not being in a box. Yeah. The fact that you don't have to get tubes and buses. Yeah. Just such a world apart from London. It's just so peaceful and... There's very few people around. Yeah. You just feel like you're completely alone. Yeah. I think, you know, compare that to our lives in London. We've always got walls hemming you in. You can't look to infinity. That's the thing. You're always seeing a screen that's 40 centimetres from your face. And you look here, you're just looking as far as the eye can see and it's so relaxing on your eyes. My hours last more. In London there's always like something you have to do and you're always like running against mm. hours and here it seems like you actually see the day mm. instead of... Yeah, when was the last time you used your mobile phone here? <laughs> it's been almost two months that I haven't used my mobile. It's phenomenal. I don't know which I prefer really because yeah, there's also not a lot going on here is there? True. It's, you know, you can't I mean, really go... this is amazing for a while, but yeah. could you live your entire life here? Yeah, it's just not got the same kind of vibrant atmosphere, it's just very peaceful. Yeah. But at the same time, it's so... Beautiful. It's a real problem to do with time, <laughs> being that we've run out of it. Now other people need to take the chalet, so I need to work out what to do about this minor problem. Hmm. Not too much stress. 